Meanwhile, the electoral body has continued making arrangements to ensure the smooth conduct of the forthcoming polls. Chairman of the Commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, has inaugurated an inter-agency campaign finance monitoring group to track and report political parties' campaign finance. INEC has also met with election observers from the European Union ahead of the polls. Adesha Wadushoga tells us more. It's difficult to... As the general elections draw near, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has been beefing up activities to meet up with expectations from Nigerians. Saddled with the responsibility of conducting our free, fair and violence-free elections, the Nigerian police force says it will deploy about 36,000 police officers with different specialties for the elections. There will be detachment of police officers armed far away from, from the polling units that will be patrolling to make sure that thugs don't come to disrupt the process of voting. It is for that reason we are going to deploy about 24,000 mobile police officers, 4,000 counter-terrorism unit personnel, about 8,000 special protection unit personnel. That is in addition to the multitude that we deployed to the pooling units. Also been given orientation to domestic and international observers who have been accredited to cover the polls. The INEC chairman reminds the participants of their roles as observers and not monitors. This contains the guidelines for election observation. The roles and responsibilities of the commission, the roles and responsibilities of observers, and we want to emphasize that you are observers, you are not monitors of the election. So this contains the um, guidelines, the rules, and the regulations. It is very important that having accepted to serve as our guests, particularly um, the international observers, for us to give you guarantees, one of security, the other one of unimpeded access to function as observers on election day. The presidential election will soon come to an end. In this regard, INEC has inaugurated an interagency campaign finance tracking group. A situation where a political party is, is, uh, has, has fallen foul of the uh, provisions of the law with regards to campaign finance, as well as other issues of um, compliance with their registration. I think going forward, the commission is going to be looking into these issues and taking drastic uh, actions along the line. The provisions in the Electoral Act 2010 as amended has provided for the limit of amount of money that a candidate can spend in an election. Uh, this is specified in Section 90 of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended. Section 91, sorry, of the Electoral Act as amended. And Section 92 of the Electoral Act limits the expenses incurred by a political party for the management or conduct of an election. The inauguration of this group is coming barely five days to the presidential election. It is expected to curb the excesses of financial inducement in the electoral process.